Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to unbox this Aqua Di Gio Profumo new bottle uh, with you and go through the notes and tell you how I think this uh, unfortunately discontinued Armani is. This is um, a 125 ml bottle I have in here. Um, it's new, sealed, I have not opened it yet. I will do it now. I wanted to make a review unboxing. I bought this uh, from Armani directly. They sometimes have it in stock and like in a few minutes it's sold out. This is now the first time this perfume will go out of the box. Packaging is quite nice for an Armani. This is the 125 ml bottle. It does not have a magnetic cup. It's quite basic. It's the same as you will find in Profondo and uh, Aqua Di Gio uh, Profondo Lights. It was. I will now spray it a bit on the skin because I was missing this uh, scent very much and now I have uh, the bottle here and then go through the notes with you and tell you how I think it is. Wow, it's so nice guys. It's really, really nice. So this was released in 2015. It's uh, quite a recent release from Giorgio Armani, let's say. They say that it is a sophisticated aquatic fragrance born from volcanic rock and deep ocean waters. Well, marketing. It is quite oily, I can feel it quite oily, but somehow it does not smell like I remember it. So either they changed some ingredient or something is not as it was before due to, I don't know, COVID and not available materials or something. It does not smell as I remember it to smell. It was fresher before, more aquatic. Now it's a bit more frankincense, so more oriental than it was before if I can say so. This is a perfume created by master perfumer Alberto Morillas. He created also the original Aqua Di Gio which was one of my favorites ever from the brand and I also posted a video about it here. So the marketing of Armani put some uh, nice uh, description about the scent which I will now read um, to you. It is fresh bergamot and marine accords are paired with the deep captivating radiance of incense and inspiring and seductive rich material creating a profoundly intense and adventurous aromatic cologne for men. Well, I don't know. Sometimes it's nice to get this extra touch of some producer because eventually perfumes are luxury items and I like it when they put an extra effort to create a story behind it, to sell you a scent with a story. So anyway, back to the scent. In top notes you'll have aquatic notes, bergamot and spicy notes. In middle notes you'll have rosemary, sage and geranium. And in base notes, frankincense and patchouli. Guys, I tell you, like if I would smell this right now from a sample without any label, I wouldn't necessarily recognize it as being an Aqua Di Gio because um, the bottle that I had before was more similar to the original Aqua Di Gio with a bit of frankincense and a bit of this rock type of smell, so like a mineral, if I can say it so. But this one here, it's very dark, very manly, very rich in frankincense. And to be very honest, I like very much how this uh, new bottle smells. I will also put somewhere here the batch code when I will edit the video, so you'll know what batch code is this one. And um, I remember the longevity as being very good. I expect this one also to have a very good longevity. So from this perspective, it's one rarity from L'Oreal that they are creating a scent which is so long lasting. In theory, it should remind me a bit of the Aqua Di Gio at the toilet, but this one doesn't. And it's very, very nice and manly and pleasant. And it gives me, for some reason, uh, the similar vibe I get from the Dior Homme 2020. So the newer one, very manly, very, very nice, very special. 
and the frankincense in this here smells really nice and natural. I can say that this nice bottle I have in here, I will cherish it and use it until it's over. Unfortunately, for some reason that I am not aware of, Armani decided to discontinue this. Please comment down below if it's true or just a rumor. Maybe launch these rumors you know, to simply sell more because people say, oh, it's discontinued. Let's jump and buy all the stock and then eventually it's not discontinued. But if it's not discontinued, what will you do? Go to the company and say, hey, you said it's discontinued. Mm. It's a rumor. I don't know. We didn't say anything. So in my opinion, this is a perfume which you can wear in the colder times if you spray more because it has some depth and it has this beautiful nice manly character but also due to its aquatic somehow and fresh nature can also be worn in the in the warmer days so this is a men men's perfume and it's very very versatile i think if you would like to have one scent and you want to invest on only one bottle this is uh, the one that you can or should look into if you find one and it's not discontinued and in my opinion, this is the best Armani perfume that is on the market right now. It's the only one which deserves uh, to purchase a full bottle. I have here a full bottle, so this is a testament that I really believe what I said and it's not just uh, marketing. This I purchased myself. It's not sponsored. They didn't incentivize me to say anything about it. If it wasn't good, I would tell you, but I think it's very good. I like how the bottle looks like. It's the classic Armani Aqua di Gio bottle since forever. And if it's really discontinued, it will be a pity, but whatever. We will find some alternatives in, uh, on eBay or on Parfum World, uh, hopefully not at very high prices. That's what I think about the Aqua di Gio Profumo. Please let me know what do you think about this scent and if this is a scent that you would uh, like to have in your collection or you have already a bottle and how is it uh, a new bottle compared to the old bottle. Honestly, from 2015 to now, there are only maybe seven years. And in seven years, I don't think it has been reformulated so many times. So I would rather think that what you get now is what it was from the beginning. And um, I like it very much. So please let me know what do you think. And I hope to see you soon on the channel again. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.